Welcome to the Smart Connect plus Salesforce.com overview video. Smart Connect as a tool makes generating new data easy, and today we're going to focus in on the Salesforce.com connector. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to show you how you would set up your Salesforce connector in Smart Connect, because that's the first thing we got to do before we can build an integration to that Salesforce environment. So let's open up our Salesforce connector setup window, and this is where we enter the URL for our Salesforce environment. We also enter some user credentials and our security token. So once we have set up the connector, we can then use Salesforce within an integration. Right now we have a map open, and we've used Salesforce as the source within this integration. So we can see that we've used the bulk data load, although we do have real-time triggers available for Salesforce.com, and we're using the Salesforce query. We're using SoCal language, as you can see here. So you can actually edit the SoCal language, or you can use the modify to add uh, additional columns within your tables that will become your source. And so you can leverage all standard and custom tables in SQL for your integration as your source. Now if you're creating an integration where Salesforce is the destination, you'd specify which entities in Salesforce that you want to integrate with. In our case, we're just integrating with one entity, the lead, but you can integrate with multiple entities at once. So you would select those and then you would specify your mapping. So I'm going to open up our mapping for our lead. When we created that new lead, you can see what we have in our source and we have some fields that are mapped in our desk destination. Um, but I also want to show you a couple things that are specific to this connector. Uh, one of the things that you can certainly utilize when you're creating your integration is an entity lookup. So let's say you are creating uh, leads or you're creating contacts and you want to have a lookup to the appropriate account on that record. Um, so you could use that entity lookup to do that. Um, you also have some more generic options available, custom rolling column to get that next number, uh, translation tables, you can work with dates, create a calculated field. We've created a calculated field for our full name on that lead. And so if you wanted to use a concatenate function, you could certainly do that. We have a library of functions to choose from when you're creating a calculated field. You could also use a little bit of .NET like we've done in this case. So you have some options when you're uh, really transforming that data or working with that data in Salesforce. Now as soon as we created that, it's available on our, in our source to drag and drop to map to our destination. And really that's all we wanted to show you in the mapping. So just to wrap this up, a couple of key things I'd want you to remember from our video today is number one, if you're using our Salesforce connector when you're doing integrations, you'd be able to leverage all standard and custom data from your Salesforce environment. Number two, you have the flexibility to run that integration when you want using Smart Connect. So when we're talking about Salesforce integration, you can run that in bulk, you can run it on changes, you can also specify that you want to use a real-time trigger. We didn't go deep into that within this video, but we do cover that on our weekly Salesforce integration demo, which is a 45-minute demo, very interactive. I'd encourage you to take a look at that. And then finally, when you're transforming your data, you can use entity lookups, and then we also have a number of other options that you can utilize. So if you need to get that next number, or you would like to leverage a function from our library of functions, or you want to use a little .NET, or maybe use a translation table, you can do that with Smart Connect. So if you want to learn more about Smart Connect, which we hope that's the case after this video, uh, we'd encourage you to go to trysmartconnect.com and there's a couple things you can do there to advance your learning. You can register for a demo of Smart Connect. You can also sign up for a 30-day trial and that's free. So we want to make that a really great experience for you. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to the E1 team. You can reach us at uh, by phone at 888-319-3663 or you can email sales at e1solutions.com. We're happy to help. So in the meantime, thanks for watching this video and have a great day.